How you doing? Brandon Mislow here. Hey, I'm going to show you a couple of things that I got lately. Um, it's not much, but it's something worth showing you. And I should really put out a video more than once every two weeks. So, I'm going to show you. I, you know, I didn't have a whole lot of uh, luck finding any cassettes, really, other than an old Memorex tape, which I tell you, that's kind of when uh, Memorex took a nosedive when they started making these things. But look at the pretty packaging. That was a exciting because look, they went with other colors and stuff, and it was cool. But anyway, so not much in the cassette wild out there. I don't know what the heck's going on. People need to throw out more of their cassettes, you know, so Rando can pick them up. It's a uh, it's related to cassettes. I did find this awesome FM14 Panasonic cassette player. And it, look at this. It has the Panasonic strap on it. And it has the, has the ball tip on the uh, antenna. Awesome. And it plays. The only thing it doesn't do is rewind. And Rando can fix that. I have a bunch of stuff to fix that. All right. Now, the other things I found were, well, I found a couple of albums with uh, with no covers, but the albums were so cool that I had to get them anyway. Maybe the covers will come along sometime, because you know what? I find a lot of covers without albums. Okay, you can't tell what that is, but you take it out and it's, uh, it's Miles Davis. It's uh, so some pretty cool 60s jazz in a silent way. Um, Rando really likes this. I'm not a big jazz fan, but 50s and 60s jazz. Yeah. Oh. No cover again, but it is the best of cream. Has somebody's name on there. Oh, I'm sorry, Barbara Allen. I took your best of cream album. Sorry. I got this Brewer and Shipley album called uh, Tet. Uh, Turkey, Turkey Road. Um, it's got the album. Oh, that be me. It has the um, um, guitarist for Grateful Dead on here, um, Jerry Garcia. Um, I think this is from 1973. Yes, it is. It's on Kama Sutra Records, which ooh, edgy. Okay, well, you're listening to that in the background. If you can actually hear that. I did get a VHS um, slasher movie from the 1980s called The Prey. Let me tell you what, this is the epitome of bad acting. There's terrible acting, but I tell you what, the faces are very pretty. Pretty girls, terrible acting. What makes a slasher movie better than those two things, right? Okay, well, this one, let's just say... Uh, they really try to build on suspense a little too much uh, to the uh, tune of uh, boring you to death or putting you to sleep. But uh, yeah, check out this clip. Well, I got this. Uh, I got this cool Ghost in the Shell, and this is the special edition version of it. Uh, very cool uh, manga. I already had this, but this is the version I had. It was blue, so apparently I didn't have the special edition. So now I got it. The Elephant Man. Now let me tell you, this is a 
This is kind of a creepy movie. Uh, it's about uh, John Merrick, the Elephant Man, and uh, directed by one of my favorite directors. Uh, what's his name? David Lynch. David Lynch. Um, did Blue Velvet and some other really good ones. Uh, hey, Eraserhead. Rando liked that one. Okay, so, got that. I also got this. Yes, it's a, just a plain old scotch tape container. But I tell you what, it was pretty cool because it, uh, it had a bunch of uh, reruns on it from Barney Miller. Um, they were from TV Land in the year 2000. So, of course, in the year 2000, there's really cool ads. And there's some ads for uh, these things right here. Watch this. Live TV without missing a moment. Ultimate TV. Watch what you can do. This is my killer DVD system. This is my killer DVD rental section. Do you have the hardware? Blockbuster has the software. We have more DVDs to rent than ever. And you like your DVD rental guaranteed. The best way to DVD is Blockbuster. And right now, you can get them a complete Dell system with an Intel Pentium 3 processor. Kind of like mine. For a low $829. And mom, believe in throwing your choice of a free printer, free scanner, or a free digital camera. Get this complete Dell system with a powerful Intel Pentium 3 processor for only $829. Plus, you'll receive TurboTax Deluxe and Quicken Deluxe free. That was pretty cool, huh? Well, check this out. I got a couple of uh, I got a couple of paperbacks. Um, one of them is from 1987. And it's called Micro Adventure. And this is like, if you can see the computer keyboard there at the bottom, um, it was like an interactive computer type book. Okay. Back in the 80s, you know, you had to type out strings of characters and stuff to get your computer just to repeat your name a hundred times. Well, apparently this uh, played right into that. Okay. And it was called Time Trap, by the way. It's got that cool dinosaur look on it. Then we got novelization of the Elephant Man. Pretty cool. I've never seen this before. Um, it says now a major motion picture by Paramount. And on the back it has John Merrick in his legendary mask. Okay. The View from a Distant Star by Harlow Sharpley. Shapley. He's a uh, um, a doctor apparently, a doctor of what, I don't know, but it's got a cool cover, it's like, it's like that's supposed to be some planet, some foreign planet, I guess, you know, all planets are probably foreign, other than ours, but you never know. Then I got, uh, this cool, lurid novel about a woman who goes around sleeping around in East Village in New York, this is called In Deep. And as you can see by that picture, she is really concerned. So, too bad for her. Anyway, pretty cool. 1968. And these were all eh, 70 cents, I think, at, at the local uh, thrift, the good thrift store, the good one. And this is Edgar Rice Burroughs' Tanar of Pelucidar, Pelucidar. Apparently, that's somewhere in the middle of the earth, and these uh, fellows here are fighting this mammoth that lives in the middle of the earth. I wonder where the sunshine is coming from. Really, this is a uh, 1950s. Uh, you can see right there, science fiction by Edgar Rice Burroughs, the guy who brought you Tarzan. That was terrible. That's about all Rando had this uh, this time around, but I tell you what, uh, got a couple of a couple of little guys here. These are found these guys too. The, the little preview for uh, Weird Paul. I'm gonna send these to him. Uh, I find a better home with him than than me. Until next time, stop by and see me. Okay, I'm lovely. <laughs>